and we can now look at more detailed how exactly we find the values of these uncertainty components. So, the URW takes into account long-term variation of results within laboratory. And it is measured in such a way that you have the same sample. The sample should be as similar as possible to the test samples by its matrix, by concentration, by homogeneity. And you should have enough of that sample so that you can carry out measurements during a long time period. And the sample, of course, has to be stable enough so that it doesn't decompose and that the analyte concentration doesn't change with time. Then obviously it's the same lab and the same procedure. But now, as uh, over the long time period different things can happen, of course the measurements are carried out on different days. If in your laboratory different persons do that same measurement, then on different days obviously it can be different people who do the measurement. There are different reagent patches, there can be different calibration graphs, different detectors if the detector of the instrument is changed sometimes, different LC or GC columns if it is a chromatographic method and column is changed, etc. So this list can be made much longer and whatever needs to be changed during the normal routine work of your laboratory has to be changed. And extremely importantly, this measurement has to include all steps, including sample preparation. So that sample really has to be a real sample, not a solution made of the real sample. So that on each and every of those different days, over a long time period, also sample preparation is carried out. And let us just for a moment remind again this scheme here, which I presented already in an earlier lecture. This within lab long-term reproducibility is always larger than repeatability because it takes in several effects that within a single day would be systematic effects but in long term become random effects. And on the other hand, SRW still is smaller than the combined standard uncertainty because the combined standard uncertainty also has to include systematic effects that remain systematic even over this long time period. So, let us summarize. URW is found as long-term within laboratory standard deviation. There has to be a control sample. The analysis has to cover the whole analytical process, including sample preparation. And if this particular procedure is used with different matrices or at very different concentration levels, then for different matrices and different concentration levels, ideally you should have different control samples.